Yeah. Hey, C-Red. C-Red, man, we been flowing through, we been flowing through this segment, so we gonna wrap it up like this. This my favorite, this my favorite segment. I'm a crazy, hold on, my bad. Yeah, it's the Bulls, man. Yeah, baby. Right, I'm still legit. All right, look. It's Mako Scott, the man rush. Spaceship flies, but we still gotta go by the rules of gravity, so things get knocked over. And this is C Red segment, and it's about the Bulls. And I'm charged, E. Oh my God, it's been God. four preseason games played, yep. right? We got an extended roster. We got to start making cuts. Tell me what you've been seeing in preseason. Who you think going to kill? Who you think going to make the team? And so forth. What, what's been going on these last four games? How you feel about it? Okay, so I'm feeling great about our season. We already talked about this last week, the camaraderie. Oh yeah. Um, that we have built, you know, most of our team has been together for three years now, so right. that's great. Mine is Lonzo Ball, but he's still in his spirit. And I'm starting to understand, you know, we still hold, we gonna hold it down for you, Lonzo. If you come back, we can, in the mud. <laughs> if you come back, we can the mud. We gonna hold it down with you, Lonzo. It's all love. It's all love. It's all, I'm, I'm, I'm jumping out early. I'm jumping out early because of Kawhi. I'm jumping out Kawhi. So just, just follow me, follow me, follow me, baby, follow me, baby. Okay. You know. As we down now, we're looking at what's going on. I watched the preseason games, you know. Now, if you haven't watched these preseason games, you know, follow what I'm saying. Kobe, Bri Kobe White. Kobe White, so far. Well, he's been a monster right now. I feel like the point guard position, him in that point guard position at the beginning of the year, Ooh. that's going to be a great situation for the Bulls. It's going to open up a lot of space. Okay. A lot of space. Because now, you got three guys you got to worry about. Yeah. You know, you got a real deep grass you got to worry about. I ain't talking about Bullchish and Patrick Williams. We're talking about Kobe White. We're talking about Zach Levine. Zach. We're talking about DeMar DeRozan. Okay. Those okay. are the guys I'm talking about. Okay. Well, we're going to have to start recognizing what's going on out here. And that's what I've seen in Kobe White this year. Bottom line, this preseason at least. As far as Bullchish is concerned, he's the same Bullchish, but he's still getting his offensive game on. His defense still has them, but he's still motivated because he's still here. Camaraderie. Right. Patrick Williams, still here, getting older. Jay looked very, very solid. You know, still slow. When he shoot it, it goes in. When he don't shoot it, he got problems. But that's why we got these new guys. Okay. And, and I saw these guys in preseason. We took them about Carter. Oh, yeah. You know? I love Javon Carter. Javon Carter. Oh, my God. <laughs> this guy him. came from Milwaukee. I love him. This guy came from Milwaukee and showed us that, yeah, it don't matter if we're down by seven. It don't matter if we're down by nine. It don't matter if we're down by, if we're up by seven. I'm still going to be on you, like, pressing you. Yeah. And trying to get the ball out your hand so we get some easy baskets. He about an easy basket. Torrey Craig, you talking about easy baskets. He came from Phoenix. He was starting in Phoenix. Yeah. The preseason showed me a lot about that core right there, along with Drummond. He just missed to get 10 <laughs> rebounds. I'm not, no. We know he get 13. He got yeah, the 10 points last game. 14. I'm only miles of him say getting 10 rebounds in less than in 12 minutes. Yeah. If that's all we can ask for you. Give him 18 minutes. So the Bulls core, for me, this preseason I saw. They're looking very, very, it's an upside. And that's not even mentioning like all the Caruso's of the world and the yeah. I.O., the Sumo's, and all the <laughs> other guys that we have out back there. You know, the young guys are still trying to make it. Everybody's trying to get, make it on the team. So I feel like the Bulls, the camaraderie, how long they've been together with the addition, without subtraction, is making our team a top six seed if Donovan can orchestrate it and Give people the more, enough time to understand when it's time for this guy, he's getting killed. Let's put this guy in because we got we definitely got a lot of depth as far as playing solid games. Right. So that's what I said about this this year as far as these preseason games. Now everybody right. might say we're one in four, you know, yeah. but it's okay. Man. I saw the preseason. I saw what Zach Levine's on the Ronda Rosen, so that's my take on the Bulls. I can get excited about the Bulls. So I'm gonna, I, that's why I'm talking a lot, but I'm going ahead and pass to this man right here because I know he got a lot to say about the Bulls. Yeah, well, I mean, you got you got <laughs> off a lot, you know. I, I'm not going. I'm just going to say this: preseason been a treat for everybody who wanted to see improvement in the roster and the strategy of the Bulls. Preseason been a treat. Yeah. I haven't been looking at the record. I've been looking at how the team been performing. Do they look like a team? Yes, the Bulls look like. A team. 
and I'm charged. I think we're going to win some games. I'm excited about this preseason. I mean, I'm excited about this in-season. Let me rephrase that. I'm excited Ooh. about this in-season tournament. It's going to go down. You know, it's, it's, it's going down in November. It's going to give us enough time to work things out. It's going down in November. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bulls oh. make the cup finals. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, it's a lot of teams in the East. I think it's going to take a minute for them to jail. I think we're going to jail right away because we've been together the longest. Like, you could say team like Cleveland, they had their superstars together last year. We had our superstars together two years ago. So I think the midseason tournament or the end season tournament winners are going to be teams that's got camaraderie already, that's already put together, and that's going to have a decent record in November. And I think the Bulls is going to be one of those cup finalist teams that's going to make it to Vegas. Oh, oh, so I've I got high praise for the Bulls. Oh, yeah. As far as Billy Donovan concerned, I like Billy D as the coach. I love Billy D as the coach. I came from, I love I Billy like D as the coach. You know, he coached one of my favorite college teams. He did a good job at OKC. I think he's doing a decent job in Chicago for what he got to work with. And as far as the guys who just, we just got Craig and Carter, they fitting in like glue and Ayo improved this jump shot. I'm watching the game. He coming down, pulling up for trade balls on fast breaks. So I don't care about how his form looking. I care about how his confidence and his decision making. Mm. And I just love where we at right now for the Bulls. I love where we at. I love okay. it. <laughs> so you like it. So you like it. So so as far as the end season tournament. Mm -hmm. What you thinking? What you thinking about that? Like, you think we gonna win the end season? Can, can we win the end season? Man, I think America, I think hey, can, can the Bulls win the end season tournament? End season <laughs> tournament play is going down in November. The season officially start next week, so oh. I think we got a shot. I think we got a shot to make the end season tournament. You no, know? and I think we got a shot. I'm looking at the group. I ain't gonna get into that. We gonna say that a little bit later on. When we go break down the, the groups, because they got it class like um, they got it classified like it's the world, like it's the World Cup. So yeah, they got yeah, like group yeah. C, A, B, D, all that. So I'm mean, we gonna say that for a later version. But I think I looked at the Bulls group already, and I think we are gonna be okay. I think we are gonna come out on top. I think we should make the in season tournament, and we got a chance to make the final four in Vegas. So that's where I think the floor at for the first part of the season. After looking through preseason, I think our team got a lot of upside. I'm hoping to do because the Bears, <sighs> we're going to talk about that on Bears talk. But that's why I met with the Bulls. So, see red See red baby. <laughs> hey, I, I'm, lo I, I'm loving the new NBA, um, the, the new structure with the end season tournament because it gives it, it give a chance, like kind of like kind of like college a little bit. Okay. But like, you know how they got the uh, Big Ten and ACC tournament at the beginning of the year? Right. So now the NBA right. is doing the exact same thing um, in November, you know, and they got big sections. And the, the best thing about it is that the the, 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 the winner of the uh, NCAA tournament, every player gets $500,000. Yeah, that's a good so, bread. If you let the end of the, the bench. The NBA is doing a good job as far as good marketing, man. This is the first year. Don't Hey, look, y'all might be sleeping on it. We not sleep on it. We see what's going on. So a lot of money to be made in this end season tournament too. I ain't picked my pick yet. Who's gonna win it yet? I want to see a couple of games. Let me get about 15, 20 games yeah. out there. Let's let, let November <laughs> start. Let's wait till November. We we pick. I, I'm making you a winner too. But you know I'm all about the live action on the basketball. And uh, man, we are gonna talk about that probably on the next C Red edition. Right, end season, end season tournament, next C Red. And uh, it's your boy Michael Scott, the man Russian. And I'm Esau Lee, the man of Taylor Street. Make sure y'all please like, share, subscribe, yes. please comment, follow. If y'all have any takes on, if you disagree with us or agree with us, let us yeah, know. Let us let know. Us know. Please, and uh, please. check out those links, man. We got links below. Look at us. That's we didn't carry them up. We didn't got a couple of links. We got a couple, got of, a couple of pairs of Pumas out here. Yeah. So y'all into the Puma game. We got a shoe boutique. Not only shoes, but we do household goods. You can probably get 50% off uh, good stuff. If you click that link down there, you can get 50 bucks for fan duel. If you click that link down there, so do all of that. And then tune in to the next episode after you subscribe. It's going to pop up. The Weekly Dog Sports Better Podcast Show. Right, we out. Thanks,